All right, today I am in Westminster, California, and I'm headed to inspect a multifamily property. And we're just basically gonna document our process when inspecting some units. So we're on the street right here. We're getting ready to pull up to the building. We have our roofer, we have our plumber, termite guy, and also an inspector. This is our one time to get through the units, check it out. We wanna be respectful to the tenants. We wanna be respectful to the owner who's letting us go through his building, but we need to go through and conduct our due diligence. So we're gonna meet the team. We're gonna be looking at the condition of the property on the exterior and also the interior and just showing you what we look for when we're inspecting a property. All right, so we're getting ready to pull up to the property. This is it right here, built in 1984, which is a great vintage of a property built in, very popular, all two and three bedroom floor plans. And the original builder owns the property. So that's a unique opportunity. This is a good value add investment. And again, we're having the inspectors come in, check things out, just making sure the major systems are working. How are you doing? Good, good to see you. How's yeah. everything? So I think today we're just gonna check out the whole building. Make sure. Good morning. How are you? Good. You know how the how how it's looking inside all four units. Okay. Cool. Yeah, yeah. This is a good sign so far that you have possibly ABS piping uh, underground. So when was that switch when they went from galvanized ABS? Uh, 1973. 1973. Okay. Yeah. So we're in the clear here. C's here and then unit D's here. So yeah. you could almost like put a fence here. There's no access. Yeah, but you could put a gate here, and you could put a fence oh. up here. Okay. And you could just kind of section off this to where this would be a private patio here. And then you could do a private patio here because it's just these two back units, right? Correct. That'd be nice. Put a little gate door, come on in. And then you could do, you, know, you could do something nicer out here. I'd probably pour like a slab, make sure there's drains getting the water out, but I'd probably pour a new slab out here. All right, so we're going through unit C. This is a two bedroom, one and a half bath. It's vacant right now. So let's go take a look at the condition. So this unit's already been made rent ready. The owner has just left it vacant. So that's a positive because we can kind of go in and select our own tenant. And if we want to put any more upgrades to the unit to maybe get a little bit higher rent, we can do so. And what's nice about this is it's a townhouse unit. You got upstairs, downstairs. These are really popular floor plans. And here's the kitchen. So it looks like the owner just put on some Formica countertops, like a faux granite, and then kept the original cabinetry. And it doesn't have a built-in microwave, just got the old vent and kind of a basic range or, or, or stove oven and uh, just a basic sink. But we would probably spend a little bit more money bringing this up. Uh, I'd go ahead and keep the appliances, but we could go stainless steel do a built-in microwave on top, and then a nice, nicer sink. With these cabinets, we might be able to salvage these and reface them and put new poles on them, paint them white, and that's, a, that's an option. Or we just go in and do brand new ones. The best thing to do is get a quote for both and then really price out what's gonna make the most sense. The flooring, this is all new, nice looking, so definitely would keep that. All right, nice, you got a little half bath down here. And again, what I would probably do is just whatever we would do in the kitchen, I would do it to match this. So if we do a new countertops, I put a new countertop here. And then whatever we do with the cabinets, I would, I would do it here, either a new vanity or just reface this and put on new poles. Um, probably put it on a, a different mirror, new uh, lighting and a new exhaust fan. But this place would look a lot better with a little extra. So the railings are already up to date, so we got good railings here. We might wanna add another picket, potentially, but these are in really good shape. All right, so it looks like we got two bedrooms on either side, and these are pretty good sized bedrooms. Wow, you got, okay, you got two closets here, nice big floor plan. You can put a king size bed in here and still have plenty of room, so these are gonna, these are gonna rent pretty good. I probably would just update it a little bit more, you know, with the, the vanities and the, the countertops and the mirrors and medicine cabinets. But, you know, overall, this is pretty nice. I mean, they're big, they're big spacious floor plans. 
So Felix, what did they do? They 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 upgraded the uh, valves, but they just it's the original enclosure. Uh, at some point, there was an issue with the shower valve, so they cut open the front of the uh, the shower here, and then they did the work from inside the wall. So that's a considered an upgraded shower valve, but this is the original enclosure. Yeah, I think it needs a new enclosure for sure. Mm -hmm. New enclosure, new window, nothing nothing crazy. Yeah. And then we would update with new blinds. These are just kind of the old school ones. You know, the new ones at Home Depot, they don't even have this. You just can pull it up and down. And then these are original windows. So even though it was built in the 80s, it needs new windows for sure. So that's something we would plan to upgrade. So it looks like each unit has its own individual hot water heater, which is great. Yeah. I'm not too excited about the location of these. It's kind of like, it yeah. is what it is, it's not outside. Right, right. Um, so the, the the main important thing here. Here, I'll switch with you. Just go ahead. Whenever you have the water heater located um, inside of a property, uh, these temperature and pressure relief valve drain lines have to be routed out to the exterior of the property. Which, um, from what I see here, they have ran those lines out. So in case this guy ever has thermal expansion and it decides to kick open and allow that pressure to be relieved, that water will drain out of this line and it won't be inside of the property. Sometimes people just do this and because of the lack of knowledge, they just run the drain pipe down here. Which yeah. If that ever happened, you, you would um, have water damage occur. Um, other than that, uh, this water heater is probably between, I would say, uh, six and eight years old. It's a nice slider. And if we had individual patios back here, then you could have the slider open and you can have your own little, you could use the space a little bit better. What's this right here? Is that a clean out? That's okay. it. Yes, this is your main sewer line. So for sure, uh, this is gonna be connected to the main sewer line on the property. So this is gonna be the end of the line then. So this drain line, if it's going out towards the street, that's an access point. So if everybody's backed up and everyone's affected, you could open up this cap here and run your drain cleaning equipment to get to it. So that's good as well. And it's ABS, so everything, ABS is good. Yep. That's what we want. Perfect. Mm -hmm. Yeah, let's take a look. This is the hangout spot. Oh, a little more than that, actually. This is actually something we're living in this. So taking a look kind of at the floor and get some termite damage in there. Okay. Not the end of the world, but it's definitely some termite damage in here. Bottom edge. Oh, okay. You look right next, next door. Yeah. This door is gone. Okay. the bottom. Okay. This is pile of termite damage. Okay. Yeah, let's take a look. We'll see the worst. Why not? Yeah, this is all evidence of termites right here. So they've just ate through the door. Yeah, the door, the bottom, what happened is this door, they eat the first piece, so it cannot pass. We just can get, treat it, but it cannot be passed. We'll just replace the door. Yeah, it's cheaper. <laughs> it's cheaper, yeah. Yep, more termites in there. The and then the washer dryer hookups. Yep. There's not a ton of wood on the building. It's basically the doors, the entry doors, and the garage doors. Thank you so much for coming out. Really appreciate it. All right, so you got two bedrooms on this side and then one on the other over here. So three bedrooms total. And then looking up here real quick, I'd scrape all this popcorn off. I mean, there's no sense of like trying to texture it. I'd just scrape it and get rid of all the popcorn. It's a lot of, a lot of popcorn though in all the bedrooms and everything, but definitely worth pricing out. It modernizes it by just getting all that popcorn off. Putting in can lighting, there's no cans, there's no sconces. So we'll get a, we'll get a budget worked up to see, uh, just to do that and probably update some of this flooring. So another thing that you always wanna look out for when purchasing the building is out here in the sidewalk area. If there's any uh, large city trees, uh, you wanna be aware of that because the roots tend to attack sewer lines. So that's what causes most sewer issues, um, breaks, cracks, damages, and uh, eventually you have to do a big repair or replace the sewer line if it's a clay lateral. Got it, okay. No trees on the sidewalk in front of the building. Yeah. It's a no-no. No-no. <laughs> All right. So since there's no trees here and there's no evidence of it, you're not recommending that we have to run a, a camera through. Okay, perfect. So that's a wrap. We went through it. Everything checks out okay? 
everything seems to be uh, looking very well uh, due again to the age of the property and uh, the upgrading that has been done throughout the course of its uh, life uh, you guys are looking in good shape and I don't see any major uh, repairs that are needed so good we're good on the plumbing we'll just get the roof report back and then the termite reports coming back but overall it's a go this is a great property again it was built in the 80s it's been Pretty well maintained by the owner, and again, it's in a great area. This is just minutes away from Huntington Beach, Bella Terra Shopping Center, where there's Whole Foods, Costco, so you're in a great little location, and just with some upgrades, this is gonna be a great property.